The existence of ADHD is often called into question by people who have the scientific background of a satsuma. Thanks to a clique of conspiracy theory wingnuts, right-wing journalists, narcissistic influencers, and a sorry collection of third-rate miscellaneous shit-stirrers, ADHD is often regarded in the same light as wind turbine syndrome. The evidence has always been clear and the certified existence of this neurodevelopmental disorder of ours has been beautifully supported by thousands of peer-reviewed scientific papers over the years. The genetic origins of ADHD first identified 225 years ago in 1797 by Alexander Crichton have however proved harder to track down. Now though a massive international study has taken us closer than ever towards neurological enlightenment and the very source of ADHD. <laughs> Yes, this amazing new paper, which goes by the foot-tapping name of Genome-Wide Analyses of ADHD Identified 27 Risk Loci, Refine the Genetic Architecture and Implicate Several Cognitive Domains, is a huge step towards enlightenment for all ADHD kind. More than 100 scientists and researchers were involved in the release of this paper, and those scientists were based in 19 different countries, including Denmark, Iceland, the USA, Iran, China, the UK, Australia, Ukraine, India, and Taiwan. You'll note that some of those countries I've mentioned have, for varying reasons, poor track records when it comes to recognizing and supporting people with ADHD and it's really encouraging to see these scientists from those countries involved in this research. This was mega research conducted on a huge scale with a massive sample of subjects. In all, genetic variants of 38,691 people with ADHD were compared directly against the genetic variants of 186,843 people who do not have ADHD. Using such a massive sample size makes the findings much more compelling, particularly since many other studies use as few as 50 or 100 people. So what, my friends, did the researchers discover? Well, the clues in the title of the paper, they found 27 genetic risk variants for ADHD. That is, they found 27 genetic markers that can if present, contribute to a person developing this neurodevelopmental disorder. And just to be clear, since these are genetic markers, they're present in embryo, in the womb, from the very first moments of life. These particular genetic variants are changes in the DNA code that can occur more often in people with ADHD than in people who do not have ADHD. Furthermore, the scientists linked the DNA of the test subjects to specific genes and therefore gained a greater understanding of precisely which parts of the brain are being affected. This is a big deal. As the lead scientist on the study, Professor Dieter de Montis of the Department of Biomedicine at Aarhus University said, this emphasizes that ADHD should be seen as a brain developmental disorder and that this is most likely influenced by genes that have a major impact on the brain's early development. We already knew it, but here's proof. You don't get ADHD, you're born with it. Even more excitingly, the scientists discovered further links between the genetic variants present in ADHD kind and dopamine. As Professor De Montis put it, our results indicate that the imbalance in dopamine in the brains of people with ADHD is partly attributable to genetic risk factors. As the professor explained, there's no single genetic key that contributes to someone being born with the disorder. Rather, there's a massive number of possible variants, and the more of these you have, the greater your chances of having ADHD. Think of it as a game of genetic bingo. 
every ADHD linked variant is a number on your bingo card and the more numbers the bingo caller shouts out that are on your card the more likely you are to have ADHD and when you cross that threshold number of variants bingo you've got ADHD welcome to the club to have ADHD from birth the vast majority of them are also linked to and have an influence upon other mental disorders such as autism depression and schizophrenia furthermore the scientists discovered that the genetic variants linked to adhd were associated with reduced reading and mathematical abilities reduced attention and reduced short-term memory in other words they proved or reinforced in quite spectacular fashion most of the key manifestations of adhd remember though that we're talking a vast number of variants that contribute to an ADHD diagnosis and much like there's not a single flavor of autism the way your ADHD presents the effects it has on your functional abilities varies from person to person by using advanced statistical modeling the researchers have estimated that there are a further 7,000 or more common genetic variants that can be investigated to identify their impact on ADHD. And as in-depth as this study was, they only had the resources to look at 27 of those variants. So imagine what else there is yet to discover. These are exciting times for people with neurodevelopmental issues. Those of us in this club who have disorders such as ADHD, autism, schizophrenia, dyslexia, Tourette's, or like me, a combination of several of them, inching closer to an explanation of our body chemistry and the ways in which our brains diverge from the neurotypical masses. This study should give every one of us in this ADHD army of ours more confidence in our diagnosis and the knowledge that like so many things in life, as Lady Gaga beautifully put it, we were just born this way. The ways in which you behave and which work against having a successful career, against making and keeping friends, against doing well in school, against avoiding substance or alcohol abuse, against road rage, against obesity, and against living to old age are the result of genetic variants triggered by the DNA that was passed down to you over the eons by your ancestors. Bless them. It's high time that ADHD was treated with the respect it deserves and not passed off as boys being boys or daydreamy girls. And studies like this one are a huge benefit in that regard, pushing the science that further bit down the line until at some finite point in the future the full mystery of adhd will be unlocked keep it real guys and remember that the adhd army has your back